Mary, isn't the soup boiling yet? Not yet, madam. Well, it ought to be. You haven't tended the fire properly, child. But, madam, you yourself made the fire up. Don't answer me back like that. It is rude. Yes, madam. Then don't let me have to rebuke you again. No, madam. I wonder where my brother can be. It is after 11 o'clock and no sign of him. Mary? Yes, madam. Did the bishop leave any message for me? No. Told me, stupid. Madam didn't ask me. But that is no reason for your not telling me, is it? Madam said only this morning. I was not a chatter, so I thought... You thought? Ah, it is hopeless. Well, where did the bishop say he was going? To my mother's, madam. To your mother's indeed. And why? Pray. The bishop asked me how she was and I told him she was feeling poorly. You told him she was feeling poorly, did you? And so, my brother is to be kept out of his bed and go without his supper because you told him she was feeling poorly. There is gratitude for you. Madam, the soup is boiling. Then pour it out, fool, and don't chatter. No, no, not like that. Here, let me do it. And did you put the salt cellars on the table? The silver ones? The silver ones, madam? Yes, the silver ones. Are you deaf as well as stupid? They are sold, madam. Sold? Sold? Are you mad? Who sold them? Why were they sold? The bishop told me this afternoon, while you were out, to take them to Lord Gawais, who has often admired them and sell them for as much as I could. But you had no right to do so without asking me. But, madam, the bishop told me. The bishop? Hmm. But, but, what can he have wanted with the money? Pardon, madam, but I think it was for Mary Gringori. Mary Gringori. Mary Gringori indeed. And what did Mary Gringori want the money, pray? Madam, it was for the rent. The bailiff would not wait any longer and threatened to turn her out today if it were not paid. So she sent little Jean to the bishop to ask for help and... Ah, it is hopeless, hopeless. We shall have nothing left. Nothing. Madam, I am sorry. If I had known... Ah, how nice and warm it is in here. It is worth going out in the call for the sake of comfort of coming in. Thank you, dear. Why, what is the matter? You have been crying. Has Mary been troublesome, huh? No, it was not, it was not Mary. Well, well. You shall tell me presently. Mary, my child, your mother is better. I have prayed with her and the doctor has been. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much, my lord. Brother, I have no patience with you. There, sit down and take your soup. It has been waiting ever so long. And if it is spoiled, serves you right. It smells delicious. I'm sure. Mary's mother is not so ill that you need to have stayed out on such a night as this. I believe those people pretend to be ill just to have the bishop call on them. They have no thought of the bishop. It is kind of them to want to see me. Well, for my part, I believe that charity begins at home. And so you made me this delicious soup. You are very good to me, sister. Good to you? Yes, I should think so. I should like to know where you would be without me to look after you. My dear, there is so much of suffering in this world and I can do so little, so very little. But it is ridiculous. You will soon have nothing left. 
you give away everything everything ah i remember you had been crying was it my fault i didn't mean to hurt you i am sorry you are like a child i can't trust you out of my sight no sooner is my back turned then you get that little mary to sell the silver salt sellers ah yes the salt sellers it is a pity you you were proud of them proud of them why they have been in our family for years yes it is a pity they were beautiful but still dear one can eat salt out of china just as well you see i had no money so i had to dispose the salt sellers it was fortunate i had them wasn't it oh go on go on you are incorrigible you'll sell your candlesticks next no no sister not my candlesticks oh why not they would be somebody's rent i suppose ah you're a good sister to think of that but but i don't want to sell them you see dear my mother gave them to me on on her dead bed just after you were born and and she asked me to keep them in remembrance of her so i would like to keep them but perhaps it is a sin to set such store by them brother brother you are hopeless anyway i'm going off to bed please bless me good night person good night mary they would pay somebody's rent it was kind of her to think of that if you call out you are a dead man But my friend as you see I am reading why should I call out can I help you in any way I want food I am starving I haven't eaten anything for 3 days give me food quickly quickly curse you but certainly my son you shall have food I'll ask my sister to serve you sit down none of that my friend I am too old a bird to be caught with chaff you would ask your sister for food would you a likely story you would rouse the house too eh ha a good job truly come where is the food i have a wolf inside me tearing at my entrails tearing me quick tell me where the food is come my friend you have nothing to fear how do i know that hmm i'll risk it but mind play me false and as sure as there are devils in hell i'll drive my knife through your heart I have nothing to lose. You have your soul to lose, my son. It is of more value than my heart. Pasam, Pasam, Mary, will you come? Yes, brother. Here is a poor traveler who is hungry. Will you come and give him some supper? What? At this time of night? A pretty business, truly. But Pasam, the traveler is hungry. Oh, very well. I'm coming. Brother, what is he doing with that knife? The knife. Oh well, you see, dear. Perhaps he may have thought I had, I had sold us. Brother, I am frightened. He glares at us like a wild beast. Hurry, I tell you. Give me food, or I'll stick my knife in all of you and help myself. You may keep the food on this table, Pasam, and you may go to bed. Stop! Neither of you leave this room till I do. Sit down. My knife is sharp, and as for forks, hmm, steel. We don't use forks in prison. Prison? Prison? Why the devil do you leave the door open? Are you not afraid of thieves? I am sorry for them. Sorry for the ha <laughs> ha. That's a good one. Sorry for the ha <laughs> ha.
What the devil are you? I am a bishop. Haha, <laughs> a bishop. Holy virgin, a bishop. I hope you may escape that, my son. Persong, you may leave us. This gentleman will excuse you. Leave you? With? Please, my friend and I can talk more freely then, without you. What's that? Leave us. Yes, yes, leave us. Good night. I want to talk to the bishop. The bishop. Ha <laughs> ha. Good night, person. Mary. The bishop. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I'm... Do you know what I am? I think one who has suffered much. Suffer? Suffer? My God, yes. But that's a long time ago. Ha! That was when I was a man. Now, I'm not a man. Now I'm a number. Number 15729. And I have lived in hell for 10 long years. Tell me about it. About hell. It's so long ago. I forget. But I lived with my wife in a little cottage. She was ill. We had no food. I could get no work. It was a bad year. And my wife, my Jidet, was ill, dying. So I stole to buy her food. They caught me. I pleaded to them. I told them why I stole. But they laughed at me. And I was sentenced to 10 years in the prison house. 10 years in hell. The night I was sentenced, the jailer told me, told me Jeanette was dead. Ah, damn them, damn them. God curse them all. Now, tell me about the prison ship, about hell. They chained me up like a wild animal. They lashed me like a hound. I fed on filth. And when I complained, they lashed me again. For 10 years, 10 years, oh God. They took away my name. They took away my soul. And they gave me a devil in its place. But one day, they were careless. One day, they forgot to chain up their wild beast and he escaped. He was free. That was six weeks ago. I was free. Free to starve. To starve? Yes, to starve. They feed you in hell. But when you escape from it, you starve. My son, you have suffered much. But there is hope for all. Hope? Hope? Ha ha ha. You have walked far. You are tired. Lie down and sleep on the couch there, and I'll get you some coverings. Silver! By God! Heavy! What a price! Ah, you're admiring my candlesticks. I am proud of them. They were a gift from my mother. Yes, yes, I lie down. Look here. Why the devil are you kind to me? What do you want, eh? I want you to have a good sleep, my friend. I believe you want to convert me. Save my soul, don't you call it? Well, it's no good, see? I don't want any damn religion. And as for the church, bah, I hate the church. That is a pity, my son, as the church does not hate you. You're going to try to convert me. Oh, ha ha, that's a good idea. Ha, no, no, Bishop. I don't want any of your faith, hope and charity, see? So anything you do for me, you're doing to the devil, understand? One must do a great deal for the devil in order to do a little for God. I don't want any damn religion, I tell you. Won't you lie down now? It is late. Well, all right. But I won't be priest that. You are sure no one will come? I don't think they will. It is safe in here. Hmm. I wonder if it is safe. I'll cover myself. Go on, I tell you. Good night, my son. Shut. Brother? Brother? 
the candlesticks the candlesticks they are gone brother brother come out fire murder thieves what is it dear what is it what is the matter he has gone the man with the hungry eyes is gone and he has taken your candlesticks what is it what is it madam not my candlesticks sister surely not those ah it is very hard well go and inform the police he can't have gone far no and send him back to prison send him back to hell no person it is a just punishment for me i set too great store by them it was a sin my punishment is just but oh god it is hard it is very hard bishop my lord we have something for you may we enter yes ah so they have caught you villain have they we found this scoundrel slinging along the road while we were securing him these candlesticks fell out of his pockets i remembered the candlesticks of the bishop so we brought him here so that you might identify them and then we lock him up but but i don't understand this gentleman is my very good friend your friend holy virgin the bishop's friend yes my friend he did me the honor to sup with me tonight and i i have given him the candlesticks you gave him him your candlesticks now i think you may let the prisoner go but he won't show me his papers he won't tell me who he is i have told you he is my friend he is your bishop's friend surely that is enough well hmm. lose the prisoner right about turn quick march brother brother what have you done you told them you had given me the candlesticks given me them by god pasam leave us i wish it well if i must go at least i'll take the candlesticks with me pasam place the candlesticks on the table and leave us my lord i am glad i didn't get away with them curse me i am i am glad now won't you sleep here your bed is ready no 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 i must go on i must get to paris it is big and i i can't be lost there they won't find me there and i must travel at night do you understand i see you must travel by night i i didn't believe there was any good in the world one doesn't when one has been in hell but somehow i 